All the martial arts of the world were developed under the son of Shaolin. As the great Chinese philosopher Lao Tse put it, the best soldier is not soldierly, the best fighter is not ferocious, the best conqueror does not take part in war. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very pleased to be your host on this extraordinary evening. It's not only a traditional television show, what is more, it offers an insight into a culture which was hidden from us for a long time. Up to now, Kung Fu was regarded as a martial art, which has attracted many adherents by its spectacular appearance and its obvious force in our aggressive conception of the world. This may change from now on as Kung Fu developed from self-defense, a fundamental principle known to every human being and not from the intention to oppress, control or hurt others. For the first time in their 1500-year-old tradition, the Shaolin monastery monks and their masters show their meditations and exercises. Let me welcome you to this world premiere with the Shaolin monks' traditional greeting. Shaolin, it means wooded hill. For centuries, the embodiment of power and the mystical. Not only the walls of Shaolin Monastery have been opened up, but also one of China's biggest secrets has been revealed. A look into a magic country, a look into the deepest soul of a faraway culture. The monk's daily meditative routine starts with an exercise called wooden fish. It is part of a Buddhist mass, by monotonous knocking at a piece of wood resembling the mouth of a fish, the spiritual climate for the following martial arts exercise is created. You can compare it with the bending of a bow, and it actually becomes very obvious, a ceremonial interaction between deep inner stillness and instantaneous action. History has proved that the clash of different cultures and conceptions of the world often led to serious conflicts. Our first meeting with the Shaolin monks was characterized by open-mindedness and even some kind of childish curiosity. The visitors' curiosity mingled with their proverbial calmness. Even faced with the high-flying techniques which they had never experienced before in their lives, the Shaolin monks were quite impressed but remained passive. The abbe, for example, didn't find any truth in the wine which was offered to him, and it remained on firm ground, even higher than the sky. Vienna was their first step on a strange continent. Sightseeing, barricades are overcome, and the Shaolin monks themselves become the center of a tourist attraction. resisting any consumer temptations, the visitors concentrated their interest on art and culture, the city's museums, and its treasures for many centuries. Apart from the fascinating exhibits and paintings, the medieval weapons were very much approved of by the monks, as they showed their own strongest weapons, tolerance and respect.
At the end of St. Stephen's Cathedral, they met the Christian faith with impressive humility. To express it in a simple Far East formula, you can find Buddha everywhere. Practicing childhood kung fu is not a question of age, but a basic attitude towards life and a lifetime exercise. The aim is to keep your body as soft and lithe as a child, even when you are well advanced in years. Thus, childhood kung fu is a kind of bridge between the generations, harmony between body and spirit as the source of eternal youth. This exercise, which you can only learn here at the Shaolin Monastery, is practiced by the 76-year-old Honorable Superior Abbey, Shi Deng Heng, and by the youngest Shaolin disciple, Xiaomi Shi Zheng Feng, who is only five years old. Shi means brother, Xiaomi means disciple. The relationship between master and disciple is characterized by the wisdom of the master and the curiosity of the disciple. Xiaomi is one of the 6,000 disciples who apply for acceptance to the Shaolin Monastery. Up to the age of 18, the first possible entrance date to the monastery, his body and his character are observed and educated by the monks. The Abbey has practiced childhood Kung Fu for the last 70 years, two hours a day, and therefore is in complete harmony with his body.
As father of a five-year-old son, I'm full of admiration for this little boy. Unfortunately, I've had Chinese food far more often than I've spoken Chinese. I only know one sentence. How are you? Ni hao ma. You see how easily children learn.